this is Lana with Lana Belana Design and welcome to my channel. Today we're playing with Cricut and I am very excited about this project. I've been meaning to do this for quite some time now and I am finally making a video about it. Today we are making tags. I am in Cricut Design space right now picking my tags. I want to go with something sim simple and easy to cut. I'm going to adjust the size and then add some desirable text. Next, I'm going to copy a bunch of these because I'm going to be making a lot of them. And of course, I'm going to use my little but mighty Cricut Joy to create these tags. I am going to uh, go ahead and cut these tags with again my Cricut Joy and I will meet you back here in just a few seconds your time. So all my tags are done and cut beautifully. A little Joy does such a wonderful job and one thing what I wanted to mention is that I also cut backings for my tags. You definitely want to have these as well. The paper that I'm using is watercolor paper and um, I really like this uh, paper. It turned to uh, be a very good and durable paper for me. Next thing you definitely want to protect your surface. I am using a cutting board and I am using this little tiny heat tool and it's heated up all the way. Um, now uh, all I'm going to do next is cut this Cricut infusible ink. This is some leftovers that I had and I really didn't want to throw it away so I wanted to put it to good use. Once that is cut I am going to use this heat resistant tape to secure it to uh, the board here and make sure you do this so your infusible ink does not move on you. This is a very important part and um, just simply heat it up for about I'd say like at least 30 to 40 seconds. The longer you apply that heat on your paper the darker results or better results you're gonna have. And I am back with my results. I have to say that I'm not uh, too disappointed. This color is faded. I was hoping for the blue, but it got green. Uh, but this pattern paper, it, it is absolutely beautiful. And I think you're going to get much better results with pattern papers uh, than solid colors. So I have this cutting board here and this little mat here is a silicone mat and I use that when I am working with wax seals. It is perfect for wax seals. Uh, they peel off quite easily and um, I do recommend you have some either non-stick surface like um, uh, parchment paper or any silicone mat would do. Uh, now, what I am going to use here, this is a very special gift from my nephew. He bought this for me while he was visiting Hungary on a business trip uh, just uh, last month. And I got surprised with this phenomenal, such a beautiful wax seal stamp with my initial on it. And I could not be more pleased. So I'm going to be uh, using that today. And instead of wax, we are actually going to use hot glue. This is clear hot glue. And I got this at Michael's a while back. I honestly am not sure if they are still selling these sticks at Michael's last time I was there, I wasn't able to find it, um, but um, it doesn't hurt to uh, check. Next thing you're going to need rubbing alcohol. That is the most essential thing when you are using glue sticks. 
Next, I am just simply squeezing that glue and I am going to just stamp and that's the entire technique. Okay, let me demonstrate that from much closer look. So just squeeze your hot glue. Next, you are going to dip your wax seal stamp in rubbing alcohol or simply spray it with rubbing alcohol. That works as well. And just simply stamp like you normally would with wax and that's it next what i have here is uh, my wax seals are all done and all that it's left to do is actually just highlight that initial there that little l there uh, uh, and i'm using these i don't really know what it's called it's like a very waxy almost uh, dust that's how it feels like a waxy dust yeah um, and it's meant for wax seals so this is pretty awesome to use I will uh, link all the supplies that I use down below I hope I can find this um, I'm pretty sure you can find something similar on Amazon or something like that but I will do my best to find it for you and here we are at the very last step of every project and that is assembly I love this part this seems to be my absolute favorite part of every project all I'm doing here is attaching front and back of my tags. I am using liquid adhesive. This is art glitter glue and I use this glue a lot. I am also using it to adhere the wax seals to my tags and do not worry this glue dries clear so you will not show through and that's it look at them i think these tags turned out so super cute uh and there you go that is the project for today now there's one more thing i wanted to show you i did a little test here now this is watercolor paper and again this is infusible ink from Cricut on watercolor paper and infusible ink on Nina Classic Crest Solar White 110 pound card stock. So I just wanted to show you real quick how the infusible ink looks like on different card stocks. And uh, yes, you can definitely infuse that ink uh, onto the uh, cardstock and I hope this is actually uh, helpful to you and uh, I hope this opens new doors and new awesome possibilities and crafting ideas. Thank you all so much for being here. If you have any questions, feel free to ask. I'm always happy to interact with my viewers and I'll see you soon with another video. Bye!